Hello YouTube, Proxy here, and today we have an update for the weekly update. So a rumour popped up over the last few days, I didn't think much of it, and assumed it would be just a rumour and I thought I'd make a small update to tell you guys about it anyway. So basically what it is, is information has been leaking from a source inside Snail China. So far we have gotten leaked screenshots, leaked video footage, and now some leaked information. This information suggests that the Steam page will be up and running on the 15th of December, which is just a few days away from now, as well as another big announcement that is being kept quiet so far. I most likely believe this will be the gameplay trailer or something along those lines. This news has given more dedicated members of the community hope that we will in fact see a release within the original announced deadline, while others such as myself remain skeptical that they can meet the fall deadline which is merely 9 days away. As for a bit more game information for you guys, Horsejoke released some details about the new spell in Dark and Light called Levitate. This spell belongs to the Earth skill tree and will allow players to pick up rocks and trees and throw them at their enemies, in a similar way to how Half-Life 2's gravity gun works. So in response to my last video, it does seem that we can use rocks to smash open someone's head, although not in the way I was expecting. And as a final piece of information, Horsejoke gave us some information about tamed creatures, specifically dragons and griffins. Regarding tamed creatures permadeath and how large creatures affect the game, there is a way to store your tamed creatures and revive it if it dies, but it's a pretty resource intensive process. Large creatures like wyverns and dragons definitely change the game, it's difficult to compete against flying creatures in a large scale battle, and you're going to have a much easier time demolishing a base with a griffin or a dragon than doing it on foot. They aren't invincible though, a group of players using high tier spells can bring them down pretty quickly if they aren't careful, it's a balancing act. Well that's it for the update of my weekly update, I hope you guys enjoyed the extra information, it's been a slow month for gathering information about the game, but I hope you guys find it useful in some way. If you liked this video don't forget to subscribe and as always, thanks for watching!